Hello children, welcome back to my class. Today I am going to explain from construction chapter to construct uh, similar triangles of the given ratio. So let me read the question. Draw a triangle ABC with the side BC is equal to 7 cm, angle B is equal to 45 degree and angle A is equal to 105 degree. Then construct a triangle whose sides are 4 by 3 times of the corresponding side of the triangle ABC. So here they have given the angle. With the given angle, we should construct one triangle. So what is the side given? BC is equal to 7 cm. So draw a 7 cm straight line. This is B, C, 7 cm we have drawn a straight line. Then angle B is 45 degree. As I already said how to measure, how to draw angle with the help of compass. So take with suitable measurement, keep your compass needle here, draw a semicircle. Is it clear? Then with the same measurement, keep here. First cut, that is for 60 degree if they ask, this is a 60 degree. Then from here, same measurement, give a cut, that is for 120 degree. Now bisects 120 and 60. How to bisect? Keep your compass needle here, mark an R. Then cut the R. Like this. Same measurement. You should not adjust the measurement. Now draw a straight line passing through this. So now this is 90 degree. Is it clear? Half of 90 degree is nothing but 45 degree. So bisect this 90 degree. How to bisect? Keep your compass needle with suitable measurement. Mark an arc. Same measurement. Keep here in 90 degree. Cut the arc. So this Line passing through this arm is nothing but 45 degree. This is 45 degree. Draw your straight line. Is it clear? Next, angle A is 105. See, in a triangle, this is 45 degree. They have given this is A, B, C. Here, this, they have given 105. But we don't know the point where A will come. A may be here, here, here or somewhere in that line. Is it clear? So we don't know the exact place of A to mark 105 degree. So what is the remaining angle here? If you add 105 plus 45, if you add, you will get 150. So from 180, subtract 150, the remaining angle is nothing but 30 degree. This is 30 degree. If you add all the angle, you will get 180 degree. So that means angle C is 30 degree. So concept 30 degree here. How to consider suitable measurement? Draw a semicircle. Same measurement, give a cut that is for 60. Half of 60 is nothing but 30. That means we should bisect 60 degree. Keep your compass needle here, mark the mark. Same measurement, keep here, cut the arc. So this is 30 degree. Draw a straight line. So that these two lines will intersect here. This is nothing but A. Is it clear? Now we have found out A. If you keep your protector and measure this angle, this angle will be 105 degree. Is it clear? Then what is the next step? Same as I said before. So what is the ratio? 4 by 3. Here one more method I will explain without adding the ratio. So here 4 by 3. So which is the bigger number? 4 is the bigger number. So 4 equal parts you can divide with the suitable measurement 4 equal parts. 1, 2, 3, 4. Right? B1, B2, B3 and B4. Now, see the denominator. Denominator is B3. So third one you should mark it. This is another method which I explained previous uh, videos I have add the ratio 4 plus 3. So I will be drawing on 7. I will be dividing the line segment in 7 equal parts. But this is another method without adding the ratio. So just how um, which is the bigger number that many times you should divide the line. Is it clear? Then see the denominator. Denominator is 3. So B3 you should mark and join C with the denominator 3. Is it clear? Always. If this is 3 by 4, you should mark 4. Join the C with the denominator 4. Is it clear? Now, but here this is 3 by 4. So, with the denominator 3, I have joined C and B3. Is it clear? Now, follow the step. Keep your compass with the suitable measurement. Draw your semicircle. Same measurement. Draw your Adjust your pencil so that you can measure this. Same measurement. So draw 
Write the value so that you will get three marks for this construction. Is it clear, children? 